Okay, if you look at the question here, first part, you have finished answering part A of the question. Part B of the question requires you to answer in what situation will the profit be the same under both MC and AC technique? And the answer will be when the production units equals to your sales unit. You see just now, the profit is 99,000 under both methods. And part C of the question requires you to prepare a profit reconciliation statement to reconcile the profit uh, between the two techniques. Okay, how to prepare it? You follow this format. This is how you prepare your profit reconciliation between your MC and AC. So you start up with your net profit as per marginal costing approach. Add the difference in your closing stock valuation. Less the difference in your opening stock valuation, then you will arrive at the net profit as per AC. Reconcile is just you want to find where does the different lies. So in our first scenario just now, when your production equals to your sales, means there is no stock. So your profit reconciliation, you start with the net profit as per MC. Add difference in closing stock, that means zero. Less difference in opening stock, also zero. So profit as per AC is the same as your profit as per MC. So in your scenario two, you have production more than your sales, meaning you have increase in your closing stock. So to prepare your profit reconciliation, you start uh, up with your net profit as per marginal costing, that is 78,900. At difference in the closing stock valuation. So you look back at uh, your uh, statement, part A of the question just now. So you look at the difference in your closing stock valuation. So situation 2 is your statement number 3 and statement number 4. So difference in the closing stock valuation, 30,500 is your value of closing stock under AC and uh, 28,500 is your value of closing stock under MC. So, add difference in your closing stock, 7,900 plus your 2,000 gives you 80,900. Next, you less the difference in your opening stock valuation. There is no opening stock in scenario 2. So, your profit uh, as per AC is 80,900. And in scenario 3, you have decrease in your stock. So, your net profit as per MC is 112065. Add difference in your closing stock valuation. Look back at your statement number 5 and 6. So, 3050 uh, is the reported closing stock under AC and 2850 is your closing stock under MC approach. Okay, so you got... Add the difference in your closing stock valuation of 200. Less the difference in your opening stock. So you will arrive at profit as per AC. This can also be a uh, self-checkup for you to identify whether your calculation is done correctly or not. So if you can reconcile, it kind of indicates that you have done it correctly. Okay. Uh, alternatively, you can also do it the other way around, meaning you can start with your profit as per AC and end up with your net profit as per MC. Things that you add become less, things that you less become uh, uh, add. Okay, you can also do it this way, will give you the same answer. You can also start uh, with your net profit as per AC, add the difference in opening stock now. Less difference in closing stock, you will arrive at your net profit as per MC. Either way, will give you the same answer. Now, you have finished answering all the questions for the Lima Berhad. Thank you.